Hi everyone, this is just a quick video which is going to show you how to use a free program called Calibre which I will link to in order to send RSS news feeds to your Kindle ebook reader. And RSS feeds are basically headlines from a website, so for instance the BBC news website, or they can also be all the various headlines that are on a various, you know, non-news related website, or you can even send some of these sub subscribable magazines. Now, before you begin, you need to have a Hotmail or a Google Mail email address, and you also need to have your Kindle registered so you've got your Kindle email address which is normally first name underscore last name at kindle.com right now click on this link go ahead download Calibre install it I'm just going to run it now and when you first run it you have to go through the install process now as I've quit out of the install process I'm just going to run the welcome wizard which is basically this is a screen you will get after the first install of Calibre okay so choose your language choose your download um, library location I've only got one hard drive so I'm leaving that as default now you choose your device here so myself I've got the one of the first generations of Kindles so Amazon and Kindle one, two, or three. You can choose whichever one you want. If you, if you're, you know, if you're in the American market and you've got the Kindle DX, go ahead and choose the DX. So click next. Right, here's where you put your Kindle email address in. So bear with me when I type this in. Now you can auto click if you're going to use Gmail or Hotmail. So I'm using Gmail. So your Gmail email address is okay. Let's just type this in. Right now, I've just put my password in. So that is basically your username, sorry, your email address, what you want it to appear from. So, you know, username at gmail.com. That's your Gmail username, and that's your password. So we'll click OK. Now hopefully this, this this should all fill it all in, it should all be correct, you can you double check here. Um, if you know what you're doing, you don't even need to go through that, you can just do the ports and everything else yourself. You just need to make sure you've got your, key, your Kindle email address at the top there. As again I've said, it's first name, last name at kindle.com. The email address you want the Calibre program to send the email from. So mine is... Uh, my username at gmail.com um, it says here the options can optionally use a server to send mail now the reason I do this is because often enough my Kindle is not actually connected to my PC so the cool thing that you can do with this is wherever your Kindle is if it you know downstairs you've left it in the car you left it at work uh, anywhere once the program finishes downloading the articles, it will then email them to your Kindle. So then you can just turn your wireless on, or if you've got 3G on, it will automatically receive the things. So you've got your host name there, so make sure that is smtp.gmail.com. Um, I do believe that's simple mail, simple mail transfer protocol, uh, gmail.com. Uh, port 587. And then you've got here, you've got your username for Gmail, you've got your password. Um, you know, if you want if you want to go ahead, you can, you can go through and click test and actually test it. But, you know, I don't really need to do that because I know it's working. So we're going to click next. Right, congratulations screen. Click finish. And now it's going to fire up the interface. So here you've got your main calibre interface. As I've not actually had this connected to my Kindle yet, there's not actually anything actually on here for you to look at, so it's pretty boring. So we need to get ourselves subscribed to some news feeds. So if we left click on the down arrow here, we can do there, which is schedule news download. We click on that. Here's all your various categories, all various languages, whatever language you want. So 
as you can see, there is a difference between a lot of them. There's like, for instance, the English, the main English directory there is 312. But if you have the region specific ones, they are quite a bit smaller. So, for instance, I'm going into English UK. So we've got 22 in there. And I'm going to subscribe to BBC News Fast, which is the, as it mentions up here, it's the news from the UK, and it's a faster version. Doesn't can, doesn't download the actual pictures, so that's good for a quick read. So schedule for download every one day, and I'm going to go right ahead, and I'm going to subscribe to the Telegraph. Subscribe to that. The Mail. Subscribe to that. Um, and I think we'll subscribe to Wired as well. Okay, and now if you click um, save. Now, uh, in order to actually download these jobs now, all you have to do is come up here and you can just left click on that. You can also click on the arrow and click download all scheduled news sources and you can tell when it's downloading jobs. If you look down here, it says jobs so I've got zero at the moment I do know I have subscribed to a couple of uh, news feeds so if I go into here scheduled is little green now and you can expand that and that's what I'm subscribed to so if you just come back out of that and that that is auto now um, downloading the news feeds for those four subscribed things so as you can see here I've got two um, threads going uh, downloading the Telegraph and the BBC so what this will do is it'll contact um, these feeds and it'll download the text and the pictures and it will then automatically send them to your Kindle so if you've not got wireless on once this is all completed turn your wireless on and you'll have all these uh, news articles for you to read now the only downside to this is it does take quite a while to actually um, do. I think it's, I've not figured out a way of speeding it up. Um, I'd estimate it's going to be at least 20 to 30 minutes before it runs, but I'm not too sure if that's on your network speed or not, or just the actual slowness of the actual um, interface itself. But uh, there is, there's, an, there's a running time, there's no actually estimated um time for it to finish though so basically you just have to leave these to run and once they've actually finished running they will then email them to your uh, device which is the Kindle and you can then have these things available to run so that's about all I can really show you guys at the moment um, as I'm sure you don't want to sit here for another 10 minutes and watch uh, me download these headers so I'm going to sign it off there, so if you've got any queries or comments, you know, um, just subscribe to my channel and add some comments, and I hope this is uh, useful to someone. So, that's about it for now, so thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.